An afternoon of kids playing in a neighborhood park in a nearby creek quickly became something much worse. Well, I thought, I thought she was dead, but I had to get somebody to help. Police say a young girl, nine years old, was pulled from the creek. At the time on scene, investigators pronounced her dead. LeQuinn and his cousin saw it all. We was hanging out. Uh, we, we tried to save her, but it was too deep, and the, uh, the wave was pushing us back. And that's, and that's we called 911. And, um, and, 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 this, and this grown up came to, uh, it, 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 and, and, grabbed, and, dragged, and dragged her out and started doing CPR. That 911 call came just after 2 o'clock Sunday, but that grown up, Gregory Singleton, was there immediately. Man, I was at the playground with my kids. I don't even live around here. I was up here for probably about 20 or 30 minutes. And I just hear a group of kids coming up saying, somebody's drowning, somebody's drowning. So me, I just took off, ran down. And by the time I got to the bottom of the creek, the little girl was face first inside the water. According to the kids there, she was walking across a nearby pipe when she slipped. That's when they say the current pushed her to a deep part of Herring Run Creek. She couldn't swim. To see somebody actually life slipping away in my hand is, I can't describe the feeling, man. I have a numb feeling. I'm just glad I was able to do my part and trying to save somebody's life, that's it. Now, neighbors in the area told me they've had concerns about a steep drop-off that goes from nearby Shannon Drive down into that creek and that other kids have slipped there in the past. The young girl remains in critical condition tonight. Live in the newsroom, Omar Jimenez, WBAL-TV 11 News.